do you ever just like get so attracted to something that should be the bare minimum that you're kind of like a little ashamed but then on top of it like you still see it as progress because i used to date dudes where it's like how dare you like flinch away from a kiss from me just because i didn't brush my teeth for five days straight and also my last ex was the type of person that thought bidets make someone a closeted homosexual what a stupid motherfucker that should have been a waiter that should have been a bigger red flag to me but i don't know it was a survival relationship i'll cut myself a little slack but jesus fucking christ i also just figured i would show him a bidet everyone who's tried a bidet loves it once they try it it's amazing like and then he'll realize oh shit i don't want to suck dicks <laughs> maybe i was wrong <laughs> and i've dated dudes who have just casually been like oh yeah i don't have an assigned washcloth in my shower sometimes i just use my mom's or dad's and I had to explain to him, it's like, you do know, like, that has probably been on your mom's, like, pussy. Like, you probably have your dad's bald dandruff just all up on that thing. And then you've been using it to wash yourself and me because you never told me this information until, like, three times of us showering together. And I only just caught you now because I realized you didn't use the same color as before. And then he was like, yeah, actually, that is gross. I'm going to stop doing that. And then I stopped showering with him because it just, you know. That same ex-boyfriend I caught wiping his burger onto a wall and it's like, nigga, you are in your 20s. And I've just been with so many chaotic people when I really, really think about it. Like, some of these memories were repressed, which is why I'm live action fucking re-reacting to them as we speak. Because holy fucking shit. But to be fair, those were relationships had when I was between the very young ages of like 18 to 23. I'm 24 now. Young relationships are a certain type of ghetto. But then again, the certain types of dudes I've been dating also have been kind of trashy as fuck, so. And then, yeah, let's just say I went on a date with a guy recently and he's been pretty nice so far. We even may or may not have plans later today. But I remember the first time I was at his house and no, we didn't sleep together. It, we just, I crashed there. Surprisingly, I did not wake up to my nose broken in like that one bitch did to me. Thanks, Wiley. Sorry, let's not piss myself off again by talking about that. I got to just like wake up at like 8 a.m. and I was like, oh, I was tired. But then I just like heard shuffling in his bedroom and stuff. And after some time passed, he just came out like, good morning. And it's like, I was like a man up at 8 a.m. He's fully dressed. He but like I heard him brush his teeth and everything. And he, like, made his bed, and he did the sexy way of making his bed, where you do that thing where you, like, ooh, he was doing the little hand smoothing on the sh bed. It's like, oh, okay. It's like, that's king status, baby. And I, it's like, at the same time, it's like, that, it's probably bare fucking minimum. It's probably bare fucking minimum. But, I mean, just compared to the dumpster fire of, like, dudes with, like, smegma dick, or who just, like, have drinking problems, or have, like... Or who have openly been like, yeah, I love Joe Rogan. He's so educated and smart. Ha ha. Have you ever watched Kill Tony? You would love Joe Rogan so much if you watched Kill Tony. And of course, racist jokes, which then I would only realize later were like, oh, that actually probably should have been, I should have left that relationship. Yeah. A lot of relationships I had been in were not relationships that I truly were in. Not exactly out of love. Some of them just because it's like, yeah, I had a fucked up home life. So beggars could not be choosers but don't worry not every single person had some my dick not everyone was disgusting or racist but just enough of them where it's like ooh, and so it's just like oh okay hey look to me here's a man who actually like went to college and finished and you know they didn't just spend their entire time at college just drinking endlessly and treating women like shit it's like they know all, they like they studied race stuff in history and they've actually recommended you great books and like about marxism and like black culture and like he's telling me interesting shit like he told me straight up like hey did you actually know that the nazi party before they got big they actually took inspiration for what the south did like during slavery and they basically took inspiration from that to find out and plan for what would then be like their own movement and the holocaust it's like look at this man he has clean fucking nails and he's comfortable enough with his sexuality where he can try on wigs in a store with you without feeling gay He's also made out with the man on stage and does not feel gay. And if you're like, that one's a little harder to believe. I don't know, man. Like, either way, it's fucking better than the type of person who says that, you know, wanting a properly clean asshole is gay. It's like, wow, you healthily function. You got up out of bed at eight. 
and are just ready to fucking go at like fucking 805, 810? Damn, that's sexy. You seem like you'd be a great father. Can you fix my life too? And I like when I get to date people who actually feel like healthy because then I notice their healthy influence on me. And you know, sometimes I'm tired of being a healthy influence on other people. Sometimes I'm tired of being the one to teach men about like bare minimum hygiene or how to communicate or how not to have a panic attack in a grocery store over like something extremely small. Like sometimes it feels nice to actually date someone where it's like, oh, okay, here's someone who's actually intelligent. They read books, they clean themselves. You don't have to tell them how to do anything at all. They're just, they just came out the box ready, like just prepared and healthy. It's like, wow, dude, you're awesome. I find it to be a healthy trait. Like it's, it's just like a, such a strange riplash where it's just like, this is how it's like to date someone who like doesn't have to be trained. This is so cool. Like, hell, you're doing better than I am. Man, that's awesome. And just to clarify, yet again, not every single man I've dated has been an evil, terrible, disgusting, shitty human being. But I am just clarifying. After so many times of just, like, little micro things, where it's like, you know, it's like, okay, that one ex-boyfriend I did have, like, yeah, you can imagine my whiplash. I used to date a guy. For, like, half a year, I remember I was telling him, can you please stop sleeping in until 4 p.m., when I'm at your house and I can't do shit in this city basically without you. Because it's like, it's a foreign area. Daylight savings makes everything dark by fucking like 3 p.m. Your family doesn't like me. There's no real privacy room in this household. Just, yeah, and I don't want to wake you up rudely. Can you get up at a certain hour? He'd be like, yeah, 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 that's fine. That's fine. And then guess what? He would keep doing that shit. So now it's just like, oh, look, here's a guy where he got out of bed without me even asking him brushed his teeth without me needing to ask him like he's all showered and dressed and ready to get breakfast with me and i don't know it feels good man i don't know i'm just documenting this because it's like hell yeah funny enough i do have to have a conversation with him soon because he heard about some of the people i've dated and he's just been like like with each story he hears he gets increasingly more terrified and he's like you haven't dated any have you dated any good people and i have to explain yes i have just because it didn't end well doesn't mean it wasn't good and just because they were flawed doesn't mean they were always terrible but i've had good relationships and he gives me the sure jam stare but i don't know anyway bye